I was listening to this interview with DDP conducted by James Romero of WSI Shoot Interviews, and DDP mentions how he was surprised how few pro wrestlers and others in the pro wrestling industry showed up for Mean Gene Okerlund's funeral. And it's a sad situation, basically knowing all the people in the industry throughout the years that could have showed up. Of course, many have passed, but plenty are still alive. Visic Man, Jesse Ventura. Also, you have Ric Flair, who obviously is still alive. And obviously, Hulk Hogan as well didn't show up, as you see here, during Hogan's first WWF title back in 1984. And Mean Gene, of course, being part of this, a huge part of WWF, and of course, like I mentioned, WCW. Now, let's take a listen to what DDP has to say here and again. Very sad the way DDP describes it. You'd expect a very large gathering to pay respect to Mean Gene Okerlund. And in DDP's words, nobody showed. Let's take a listen. Gene Okerlund dies. I thought it was going to be a who's who of wrestlers that were going to be there. From Hogan to Flair to everybody. Though everybody must have been had other engagements because nobody showed except for me. The two guys from the WWE was Mike Kevin Dunn and Kerwin. Kerwin Silfie. The directors. Yeah. They, they were there. Greg Gagne was there. Jim Brunzel was there. Uh, um, uh, Brian Blair was there. But as far as the boys, that was it.